PC Electronics. In this video, we are going to see about the selection process, the qualification, age limit and everything about the PARC Scientific Officer Recruitment Post. Okay, so uh, we'll be seeing uh, that what is the selection process, what are the various parts of selection, what are the type, what is the type of examination. We'll be seeing all the details about the BARC Scientific Officer Preparation Post. I have all the details in my hand. Let us see quickly what is the uh, the requirements, the qualification and what is actually the selection process for BARC Scientific Officer. First of all, uh, this recruitment that is for the post of scientific officer, it is not for the immediate job. It is actually an academic training program. This selection is for an academic training program. That is, if you pass this examination, if you uh, clear the last stage, that is an interview, you will be selected for a academic program that is uh, having two uh, sessions of academic programs are there. One is for one year academic program and next one is two year academic program. I'll be uh, explaining that one year and two year what is the difference later. Anyway, it is for an academic training program you are being selected and after that, if you complete that training program successfully, you will be posted in the BARC various locations all around the India as scientific officers. That is the thing going to happen. Don't think that it is a direct recruitment. It is going, it is, it is a direct recruitment anyway, but you have to undergo a training of one or two years. Okay, so that is, it is for a academic program. Now, what is the selection process? What are the various stages? First one is a screening test. That is an online uh, test you have to undergo. There will be some uh, questions, question papers, online test you have to attend. You have to get a cutoff mark in order to qualify that. And then you have to, uh, you have to qualify the online screening test. Next is gate score. Gate is very much important for all the bar examinations mainly. So you have to get a valid gate score if, ha if you have to pass the second stage of selection. So first they will be testing you uh, for your online, uh, that is your subject knowledge, You they will be testing. And then uh, if you uh, pass the screening test, then they will be checking whether you are, whether you are having a valid gate score. Only if you have a valid uh, gate score, you will be called for the interview, which is the third step. Okay, so the third step is interview. So that is the selection process. First one, screening test. Second one, uh, gate score, which, is, which should be valid. Then third one is uh, the, uh, the interview. Okay, so these are the three steps of selection for bar scientific officer. Next one, as I said, if you undergo all these uh, processes, that is, if you pass the last stage of selection also, then you will be undergoing a one-year orientation program in various bar training schools and you have to uh, complete the training program by getting a 50 percentage of mark. So uh, during the entire coursework or after completing the coursework, you have to get a 50 percentage mark. Okay, so that is also very important. Next, if you pass uh, the training with 50 percentage mark, you will be posted in various regions of bar as scientific officers. So this recruitment is for the Department of Atomic Energy, that is BAR, Baba Atomic Research Center. Next is the important dates. Anyway, I'll share the uh, link of this notification and everything in my description box. Anyway, there is still, uh, you can apply for this post. The, activity, uh, the, uh, the application link is still active. The last date is 3rd of February. The application date has already been started from the uh, 6th of January to the 3rd of February. Okay. And you have to uh, undergo the online test in March. That is in between 13th to 19th of March. The uh, examination online test that is the first stage will be happening. Also, you have to uh, enroll your gate scores if you have a valid gate score. You have to enroll your uh, GATE scores on the 1st of April 2020. Okay, next is about the qualification of uh, the bar. That is BE or BTEC or Integrated MTEC. I'm talking about the engineering branches. There is also a vacancy for postgraduates of science. I'm talking specifically for the electronics people. So you should have a BE or BTEC or a integrated MTEC. That is integrated means BTEC plus one year 
uh, of total five years of uh, course, which is having a uh, that is finally you will be getting an MTEC that is called an integrated course, right? So you you uh, you have to uh, have either of this B or BTEC or integrated MTEC with sixty percentage of marks, okay? And also, as I said, for the second stage, you should have a valid GATE score. So if you are preparing for BAT, you have to side by side concentrate on your GATE exam also. Only then you will be getting selected. Okay. Now, what is the valid GATE score you should have? They will be only updating after your first stage of selection. That is only after the uh, screening test is happening. Only after fixing the cutoff for that screening test, they will be talking about the GATE score. What is the valid GATE score? They will be talking. Okay. Now, what is the vacancy for electronics post? We are mainly concentrating on electronics uh, branch, right? So, what is the uh, vacancy details is that there are 25 vacancies for the one year course. As I said, there is also another course which is for two years. The vacancies of that two year course is not being given specifically. But for the one year course, training course, they, there are 25 vacancies for electronics branch. Now, the training schools of BARC are at Mumbai, Indore, Kalpakam and Hyderabad. Okay, so these are the various details about the qualification, the selection test, uh, selection process and the vacancy details. Now, as I said, there are two training programs. One is for one, uh, one year training program and there are 25 vacancies for electronics, right? Now, in this one year training program, you won't be given any stipend or anything. You will be just uh, getting selected. And you have to undergo the training programs and you have to uh, pass that training program with a 50 percentage mark and then you will be uh, you will be getting posted but for the second uh, group of training that is second class of training program based on your excellence in your written test and based on your excellent gate score and your interview performance some people will be selected and they will be undergoing a two years of training program and in that you will be getting a stipend also and also the tuition fees also they will be getting. Okay, so uh, the number of vacancies for that uh, post is not, that is that for that class of training is not given anyway. So uh, my request is that if you are preparing for bar, uh, try to prepare uh, as good as you, uh, you, you could possible because you if you get a stipend that is a very good thing, right? Okay, that is a uh, two type of training programs. Next is the age limit. Age limit is uh, as per the uh, uh, the date August 1, 2020. They are saying that uh, the age for general category 26 years is the age limit. For OBC it is 29 and for SCST 31 years is the age limit. There will be age relaxation for the reserved and the other categories. Next, applicants should be Indian and applicants, if they are working in any of the government organization, they have to give a no object objection certificate. That is NOC they have to produce. Okay, that is all the uh, criteria. And is there any fees for uh, application for this bar? Yes, for the general category and male candidates belonging to the general category, there is a 500 rupees fees for applying for this post and if you are female or SCST or any uh, reserved category, you are exempted from the fees. Okay, so as I said, you can apply from January 6th. So it is already active. The application link is already active from January 6th to February 3rd. Okay, now what is the syllabus? It is mainly GATE syllabus itself. Whatever you are studying for the gate is uh, equal to the uh, the syllabus for gate. If you see in the internet, there is no much question papers or any other details available regarding the gate, uh, sorry, regarding the bark preparation. I've uh, looked a lot of sites to get previous year questions, but the previous year questions, I think they have kept as confidential. But if you are seeing for ISRO or any other uh, examination, Mostly the question papers will be available, but it is not available to the public. That is a bar question papers are kept as confidential. Okay. Next, uh, but anyway, there is a, a description uh, regarding the online test, which is going to happen. The test is 400 questions and the time duration is two hours or 120 minutes. 
Now, as I said, this online screening test is an online examination and you have to answer the branch wise question. I'll be doing a, a separate video on the syllabus of BARC, but uh, just to know that you will be answering subject wise questions or branch wise question, whether you are belonging to the electronics branch, you have to concentrate on the core subjects of electronics. 100 questions will be there, 2 hours and the marking is 3, uh, three marks for the correct answer and 1 negative marking is given for the wrong answer. So these are the some details about the, the selection process of scientific officers for BASC. So as I said, it is for the academic training program you are getting selected. But if you are getting trained, you will be posted as a scientific officer if you successfully complete the training program. Okay, so uh, I hope this video was useful for your uh, preparation. If you are preparing for or if you are willing to apply for this post, please do apply for this as soon as possible. It is a very good offer. It is a very good uh, organization to start your career with. So don't hesitate. There is time till February 3rd. You can apply as soon as possible. The selection process, if you're preparing for gate examination and all, you can uh, side by side concentrate on the bar examination also. So uh, I hope this video was useful for you. Uh, if yes, please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with all your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.